Hi all. Oh, here with more space engineers, and uh, yeah, it's been uh, one of those days. So we have gone ahead, done a north to south um, circumnavigate on the planet, and we need to do an east to west. But we've been receiving um, messages of meteors, so what we're going to do is do a little bit of an expansion on the base. We're going to put in a a small docking area for our new ship. We have a docking area for our small ship, which is actually piped in, and I want to pipe the new area in. But first, we have to get started, so let's go. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day and a terrific week thus far. And what we are doing right now is we're basically trying to get a area that we're going to be able to put in a, uh, a doorway. And we're going to have a little, like a stair system that comes up over here. And we'll, you know, have a platform to land our, uh, our little tree ship on. So let's go ahead and grab this, which I think, yes, okay. Uh, we need a bunch of stuff. I need plates. Actually, what do I have on me? So we have the plates. Okay, so let's go ahead and weld this up. Construction components, small tubes, motors. Let's see what we have over here. No, actually, that's going to be... Yeah. We'll go ahead and throw those over there. So let's grab those, some of those, some of those, and a whole lot of those. Right. So we're missing a display is what we need to make this thing functional. Uh, all right, so, um, yeah, basically what I have been doing is I circumnavigate it north to south all the way around the globe uh, looking for bases. I found one. <laughs> one. And what was funny was is that it was closer to me than <laughs> going the other way. So if I had gone uh, south instead of north first, I would have found it much faster. Um, but eh, it's like uh, about 90 some odd kilometers away and it's a resource trader. I need one of you. There. And what we're going to do is see if we can... There we go. We're going to take a little bit of this terrain out. Always have to be careful when you do that because then you end up with big pot marks there. And, uh, so uh, yeah, but basically we ended up with a... Uh, I think it's like a raider resource or something like that. Um, they're not actually pirates. They're just, you know, whatever they wanted to choose. Whatever the random name came up to be. And so we're going to go ahead and grab... I basically have enough room in my inventory for 302 of these. We're going to go ahead and grab 300. Because we can. And we want that to come out a little bit before we take it up. Now... This ship is one, two, three, four, five, so nine blocks wide. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 blocks long. Whoop. Right, I need to put a hatch on those. Okay. Um, so the idea is oh, we want this thing to be far enough away that it's not going to run into stuff. Five. And if we go. If we go from there. 
So we're going to give it a space. We're going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That actually works pretty well. Okay. And then that's going to come out this way. Of course, I wasn't counting. So uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think we said 13. So we're going to do one more for uh, luck. Alright. And that gives us a framework to, uh, to build from. Now, we don't actually have to make it as wide as the ship is. We really just need enough of a landing area for the uh, these things to attach. Which, you know, is actually fairly small, so we're not too worried about it. And so we're going to go two, three, four, five. That's middle. Two, three, four. Uh, I guess that's technically far enough. And because this is a large grid ship. We are going to do uh, um, blast doors in the middle because we want to be able to, to land our ship on it. But I'm not going to do, um, we're not going to use the blast doors everywhere. We're basically just going to use them where our thrusters are, which is why I'm kind of counting this out. Right, so if we go from here, this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, so we are going to have. A connector right here so what that means for us we need actually blast doors I think I was calling them hangar doors earlier wouldn't I uh, so if we do blast door blast door blast door So what we're doing here is we're just basically mapping things out so we know where the parts are that we need. Because like I said, we're not going to do uh, blast doors all the way up or all the way back. We're only going to use them basically where the, thr where the uh, actual thrusters are. So. And I apologize if my voice sounds a little rough today. It's uh, not been getting a lot of rest lately. Oh. So, uh, yeah, throat's a little torn up from the wonderful change in the seasons again. Right, so, you're in line, you're in line. So we really only need it to go from here to one, two, three, up. One, two, three. And realistically, we could actually just do here. And from this point on, we could just run regular blocks straight up. Now, the reason why I'm... Uh, am I going to do this? Uh, I may do this. Nice thing about all the blocks we're using, everything is basically built off of steel plates until we get to this point. Alright, so that's going to give us 
a little bit of defense on the landing pad and then the rest of this can be just regular blocks. Now I did originally think that I was going to build this up a little bit um, but thinking about it a little bit more I'm thinking eh, now we're gonna keep it easy. Let's keep it simple. Because I'm not planning on having a lot of base building, at least not for early game. And in game today, when we are at the end of this episode, or uh, the end of the in-game day at least, it's time to ramp up the difficulty again, which is why I'm trying to get this done as quickly as possible. Uh, because we are either adding an AI to the game, or we are uh, turning up the, astro the meteors, and that will probably be the meteors. Um, so I want to make sure that we actually have a little bit of defense set up for it at least. Okay, so now we need <clears throat> so now we need interior plates. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these guys out. And all right, so we're going to do a conveyor junction there. I'm thinking what we're going to do here is something like this, maybe. Okay, so we have, where do we have thrusters? All right, so we do have a thruster in line. So what we're gonna need to do is in order to keep the thruster from accidentally disconnecting our grid, we're gonna bring this out this way. Yeah, I should be able to get away with that. Actually, no. I want to do this with it. And I have to go back around this way. <laughs> Alright. So that lets us get a supply line to there. And we will run... a pipe system like so There we go. Alright. So that gets us piping over to here. Ah, crap. Nope. We're gonna have to do. Is that's actually going to have to come back one more because we're. I forgot we're playing in vanilla, so I don't have. Uh, the compact turrets turned on, which means I need a 3x3 three three space to put a turret in right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a turret here on this side. And then we are going to basically do the same thing over here. In fact, let's go ahead and just do that. Here. 
and we'll have a turret on this side as well. So that'll give us a little bit more defense for the base, and I'm, I may run another one off this side. <laughs> now, the problem is, is that I don't want to have a situation where when we dock the ship, um, that we have part of the ship hanging over and have a turret basically shooting into the ship. We want to, we want to avoid that as much as possible, so... That's so... Okay. I think I can make turrets, yes. And for that, we need steel plates. Yes, yes, okay. Let's go ahead and grab these really quick. Why are they rope? Ah, because there's too much terrain in the way. I'm betting. Why are you unable to place the turret? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. I should be able to place it. The only thing I can think of is that there's enough terrain here to cause a problem. Yep, terrain issue. means we're yes, we are going to have to do that on this side as well. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do, since we have gone ahead and explained basically what we're doing, at least you know, for the most part here, um, I'm going to go ahead and get everything installed, hopefully get everything uh, wound up. I'm going to try and get this done as quickly as possible. And then we will uh, come back, move the ship over, so you can see what we're doing there. Alright, so you are still... Adjust this up. It's really annoying that you have to clear some of this stuff out like this. How far out do you need to go? Oh, you need to go quite a bit. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get the rest of this done. <laughs> get it all sorted out. And uh, we will be right back. And we're back. Okay, so uh, basically been going over... I keep turning the GPS on and off here. Um, been going over there. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, basically been just shuttling iron back and forth a little bit. Got some things welded up over here, and I, I prior prioritized the area that the thrusters are going to be most likely coming into uh, conflict with, mainly so that we are basically not burning down the uh, base every time we need to do anything. All right, so all of our turrets are or should be online at this point. Um, I set up their targeting priority. I have them set up to just target missiles and uh, meteors. So I think here should be powered on. We're going to turn those on. We're going to turn those on. Man, after the last playthrough where we weren't using any of the external cameras, whew, I have to say I really missed the <laughs> missed the camera. <laughs> oh, it's it's nice having that again. Now, one of the things I do want to do is I want to um, 
actually do a little bit of an upgrade on the ship. So we want you trying to see where it is here. There we go. So now we can turn off all of our thrusters. And so we are going to look for our connectors. One of them is ready to lock and one of them is not. Okay, so we know it's not that one. So that one is going to be, that's our rear connector. This is our bottom connector. And how do I know that that's our bottom connector? Because we can lock it. <laughs> All right, so we are now going to do batteries. Uh, which I think it is, you know what? Those are scout batteries on two, three, four, five. Okay, so those are scouts. What battery are you? It's not on this grid, I know that. Okay, it looks like these are all on grid. So this is going to be our uh, trader batteries. Save that. Go ahead and hide these. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set these groups. Uh, trader batteries. Alright, so we've got those set to recharge. Our hydrogen tank which means we're going to have to go mine some ice, but that's okay. That's not too bad. All right, so that gets us most of what we were trying to get done today. We have expanded our base a little bit. We have some additional defenses, which is good. I'm really worried about it shooting our power generators, but, you know, we'll see how that works out. I'll probably end up putting another tower out away from the base a little bit. Um, thinking I'll run some piping up here and probably have it set up eh, probably somewhere around here. Just have a little um, defensive gunnery position basically to help keep the area a little bit safer. Speaking of a little bit safer. Move all of this actually and then hide empty. We're basically just going to move everything over there that isn't already accounted for. Huh. And we're going to do two. And two, okay. And that's the uranium over on our lovely little ship, which we're gonna turn off here shortly. And I think that's everything, right? Now I did go ahead and pick up five of the zone chips. I think I picked those up last time. Um, basically what we're gonna do is, at some point we are going to build a safe zone module for this. And I don't know where I'm going to place it. Actually, can we... What do we need for this thing anyway? Holy crap, that's huge. Wow. Okay, that's rather nuts. Um, need steel plates for that. That actually works out 
fairly well, but for location at least. <laughs> wow. That is nuts that it actually fits where it needs to. 750 plates, I need 10 gravity components, which I may actually have. Five zone chips, okay. So, um, yeah, we're gonna, off camera, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get that thing welded up. That's gonna be a lot of mining. I'm gonna have to actually, I am gonna have to go do some mining for the parts on that. It's just, it's not worth trying to, to buy those parts. But I'm kind of curious as to how much power that thing requires. Oh, uh, so let's check that really quick. Oh, uh, look at you. It won't say. Can only be... Nice. I'm wondering if, because it looks like it has a door on it, I'm wondering if you can actually go in to it once it's built. That'd be so awesome if you could. I doubt that you can. I think it's just going to be a, a set piece, but dude, this is going to be awesome when it's done. I'm liking the way the base is coming together, actually. I'm, I'm kind of happy with the whole thing. I am also happy with the idea that we're not doing a whole lot of just resource gathering for the sake of resource gathering and building. Um, I think that, you know, with the way that the system has changed, we get the changes to the economy and everything, um, I have to say, I, th I think that it's going to be good overall. Now, one of the things I would like to see changed is the, uh, the scale of the economy. Oh, uh, let me see here. I don't think I have any items. I don't have access to any items right now. Okay, so generally speaking, if you wanted to sell something, there would be a list here, right? So we can say we want to buy, I don't know, let's say we want to buy a data pad. So it's default price per unit. Um, this is basically what the, the system-wide market setting is. You can increase it, but you see how this this stuff scales very quickly. So cobalt ore is three hundred, right? Uh, let me see here. I want to find gold ore is only two hundred. Gold ingots are twenty two thousand. So I'm not sure, but I th what I'm thinking here is that it's taking the value of the raw resource. So if you want to make a gold ingot, it requires so many gold, so many gold ore. <clears throat> I'm wondering if it's multiplying this out, like say a, a gold ingot takes, you know, like a, a thousand gold ore to make a full ingot, right? And I don't think it is that bad, but just for the sake of round numbers. Um, so it takes a little over, you know, 1K or no, 100 um, gold ore. So it's like 1.1, uh, so like a 1100 or 111, 112, something like that gold ore to make one ingot. And then the numbers actually start working out around there. So I'm thinking that's what they're doing is that they take the raw resource to find a price for it. And then the market average price for the whatever it refines into is based off of the amount required to refine that item. So um, I have to do a little bit of playing around with it and taking a look. Okay, so iron ore, 145. Yeah, so that's that's because it takes about a little over one iron, one iron ore to make an iron ingot. It's uh, one, about one and a half. So yeah, that's what it looks like with what they're doing. They set a default price for the ore, multiply the number of ore that it takes to make the ingot to give you the uh, the 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 price. But see, the problem that I run into then is that interior plates. 
if we look at uh, interior plate. So interior plates take one ingot. So the the stuff that requires ingots has a slight modifier on it. So instead of being one ingot, the price of one ingot to make the plate, it looks like it's charging probably about 10% or so, um, give or take, maybe 5% on top of it. Uh, somebody out there with a calculator, do the math for me. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, basically trying to figure out what the scale is, I'm thinking I may change that because what ends up happening is, is that if you have something that you're looking for, say, uh, Oh, I don't know. Let's go down to thruster components. Those are usually a good indicator. So thruster components, 45k. Uh, uranium ore is 500. Uranium ingot, 76,000. So you see, that, that's why I'm thinking that they're using, they're setting a base price here. And I'm wondering if we drop that, if we set that to 400. Ah, see, it resets it. Interesting. I'm wondering if, because what I'm wondering is if that, if we, yeah, that's what it is. They set a base price and then there's a premium added to it because I paid 111000 for each one of the uh, the chips that I picked up. So it's basically adding, uh, what is that, 1%. Or something like that, ten percent. Yeah, uh, actually, eleven percent. It's adding eleven percent to it. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play with the numbers a little bit. But anyway, all right. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and call this one here. I know this is a little shorter than a lot of them have been recently, and uh, I want to apologize for it, but like like I said, you can hear my, my throat's kind of going out here. I'm losing my voice. So, I want to thank you all for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We got a chance to take a look at how the market is working a little bit. We got an expansion built onto the base, which we're going to continue working on off-camera. And we have the safe zone, which we will also continue working on off-camera. So when we come back on Friday, all of this will hopefully be welded up. We won't have any holes in the base. And um, I will try to record from the time we get this thing done. Uh, that way you can see, let's turn it on here. That way you can see what we're doing as we're going through welding it up. Because I am playing with the uh, um, default inventory setting. So it's going to be a lot of running back and forth to get that welded up. All right, so. I'm going to get out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Enjoy the rest of your week. I want to thank you for stopping in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to throw them down in the section below. If you're new to the channel, haven't done so already, or you just want to do something nice for me this Wednesday, make sure you hit that subscribe. And if you want to be kept up to date, don't forget to ring the bell. On that note, I am out of here. We will uh, catch you back here next time for more Space Engineers. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Uh, so now I have like an hour of resource grinding. Have to increase the meteors. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a hell of a week. <laughs>